thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on my weekly favorites and fails. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I have some favorites. I got some fails. Well, actually I just have one fail and I have one product that's kind of like, uh, you know, I'm not too sure about. So I'm gonna start off with Dossier and they are a fragrance brand who really specializes in inspired fragrances. So if you're interested in or if you like a lot of fragrances but you really don't like the high price I would suggest checking them out they reached out to me and wanted to know if I'd be interested in partnering with them to show you all some of the goodies that they have they sent over some cologne for me to try and I've tested it out I've tested out the longevity of it uh, the sillage you know how well you can smell it um, hours after you worn it all of that good stuff so let's just kind of jump in and talk about each one. So Dossier reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price and you pretty much keep the same high quality. You don't lose anything and all of the fragrances that I picked out are fragrances that are popular. And one fragrance that I'm going to talk to you all about is Angel and I have loved that scent forever and the actual fragrance that, is, that they sent over smells exactly like the scent. When you get your order it does come in a pretty sleek simple box like this it'll be cream color on the outside and when you open it up it will have orange on the inside and it'll say iconic scents designer quality no markups and you'll get a little card which gives you a description of your scent and you'll get the little tester uh, fragrance and then you'll actually get the fragrance right here. So again, if you like it, you can definitely go ahead and keep everything, but they only ask that, again, that you just try this out first and then if you don't like it, send this larger bottle back unopened. But as you all saw, each fragrance is securely wrapped and each bottle just looks like this. It's a simple, sleek bottle. This is a magnetic top, which is really nice and you get a little sticker it has dossier right here on the corner and it'll have the name and it'll also have the notes the top notes and the middle notes and the base note and this particular fragrance has an 18 percent concentration which is really decent um, I like to wear it and my husband also has a fragrance as well and when we wear it and we go about our day we come back we can still smell it on each other's clothes so as far as longevity it's definitely there um, each bottle comes at a price of $29 now, I did notice that uh, there is a fragrance by the name of Creed. Uh, from my understanding, that particular brand fragrance is $500. Now, I think that one on the website is uh, $40. I'm not sure. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. And I think that's about the only one that goes a little bit above the $29 range. I will have a discount code below. Dossier also offers all kinds of disc welcoming discounts as well as other discounts but you can use my discount code on top of that to save even more. Now I just have to say that the sprayer on all of these is really nice. Do so you all see that? It's really nice. Uh, it doesn't stain your clothes or anything like that. I have worn fragrances before where I spray it on my clothes because that's where I like to spray <laughs> all of my fragrances and it has stained my clothes. Just really weird things. So you don't get any of that going on. And overall, it's just a really nice brand. Let me just quickly show you all the other fragrance that I have. And this one is by Joe Malone and this is the Fruity Honey and this is the Nectarum Blossom and Honey Cologne. The top notes are black currant, green leaves, the middle notes are honey, nectarine, and the base notes are peach and vetiver. As you can see again, same nice bottle, same magnetic top and get that same nice Mm, and it smells good. You get the same nice sprayer as well. Again, I've worn both of these and the sillage on them is really nice and the staying power is very nice. For this one as well, you get a 18% concentration. Again, you get a card with each one and they're just really nice. Personally, I think it's really nice that you can get some inspired fragrances that smell much like the original ones on the market. But yeah, this is Dossier and I would definitely suggest if you are a fragrance 
pants lover, but you don't like the high price of it all, I would definitely check this out. All right, so next I'm gonna talk about a moisturizer and this is a vegan milk moisturizer by Milk. This is it. As you can see, the packaging is super cute. It comes with a little cover like this and the cream is very, very thick. So the reason that this one is just kind of on my meh list, you know, I could live with it or I could live without it. It is a very thick cream and it starts off leaving your face very, very hydrated. But what I noticed was for it to be as thick as it is, over time, it didn't leave your face feeling moisturized. And historically, all of the thick moisturizers that I've used, it really left my face feeling very moisturized, hydrated, you know, just hours after use. But this one, not so much. You just kind of get the idea that it's going to leave your face that way because it does feel hydrating, supple, and all of that good stuff. It's just over a time, I felt like it just didn't live up to the mark of all of the other thick moisturizers that I've tried. So this one, while the packaging is super cute, love it to death, it just came up on the mad list. All right, so a fail for me would be the Saturday Skin Avocado Date Seed. Uh, this is the Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. And so this is it right here, comes in. It really doesn't come in your classic eye cream bottle, but this was a fail for me because after using it for probably four months, I've had this for a while, it didn't do any type of brightening to my eyes. And you know, I feel like with the eye creams, you really do need to use those for a while to see if you're going to get any results or at least give an opportunity. Some eye creams work faster than others, you know, just kind of depending on the ingredients and what other products that you apply on your face. But this one really didn't do the job for me. So this one's coming in at a fail. I feel like I did give it a fair amount of time to use. If you've used this product and you felt that it did lighten your eyes or it did make things brighter, definitely leave me a comment down below. Maybe I used it wrong. Maybe, I, I, you know, I don't know, but I used it exactly how the directions uh, stated. So yeah, this one was a total fail for me. All right, so a favorite that I have is by Biosance and this is their Squalene Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. This is it right here and, you know, on day Days, lazy days, lazy skincare days. I have to say that after applying my toner, I'll just apply this and go ahead about my day. It doesn't leave that white cast that I think pretty much everybody hates and it is very moisturizing on the skin. Plus it's a mineral sunscreen, plus it's got squalene in it. It's just to me an overall good sunscreen to have. It, it does have a broad spectrum SPF of 30 UVA and UVA. So in the world of sunscreens, especially if you're trying to steer away from chemical sunscreens and you're looking for a mineral sunscreen, I would definitely check this one out. Right, so next I have a mask and this is by Kinship and this is their Mint Mud Mask. And for the past week, this has been a favorite of mine. You can use this up to three times a week and it's really good for unclogging the pores and just kind of clearing everything out. It looks like this and it does smell like mint. So, and when I say mint, it has a strong smell of mint. This does come with a spatula, so you do get a applicator tool to apply it all on your face, but it's really good just to make sure that all of your pores are unclogged and keep them clear, because you all know if you have clogged pores, it just kind of leads to other things like acne and just other things that you really don't want. So yeah, this has been a favorite and I really like it. And it just you just apply it like a traditional mask. You apply it all on your face and then it dries down, it hardens up, and then you rinse it off. So if you're a fan of those type of masks, I would definitely say to check this one out. All right, so next I have two products that were sent to me by Clarins and this is their Moisture Rich Body Lotion with Shea Butter. Now I've been using this for probably almost a month. I would have to say that I'm excited about this. Um, it's still a favorite. I like all of Clarins products. They all work really well for 
for me and this is a good lotion to use if you have really dry dehydrated skin and this lotion also isn't going to um, leave you feeling um, overly greasy or um, slippery so to say you know how some moisturizers uh, they're not sticky and they're not oily but you still feel that there's a little bit of um, you still feel the moisture or the wetness there this one not so much it does absorb really well into the skin and it does a really good job of leaving your skin hydrated and moisturized throughout the day so this isn't one where you apply it and then a couple of hours later or sometimes minutes later your skin feels dry I don't know what's up with that with those type of lotions but they call themselves lotions but anyway this one is not like that and the consistency of it is uh, very thick as you can see see it's not it's not running so it's one of those thick type of moisturizers really good and it does have a scent to it I don't know what I don't know what this scent would be I don't know how to describe it but it does have a mouth scent but it does go away once you have it all you know rubbed in your skin and see just leaves your skin really nice and hydrated. So this has definitely been a favorite of mine. All right, and the last one that I have is by Clarence, and this is a cleanser, and this is a mousse foaming cleanser, and it's made with alpine herbs, tamarind pulp extracts, it's for all skin types, and it's a renewing cleanser mousse. So this cleanser is really nice and what I like about this cleanser is that you can use it on just regular days but also to take off your makeup. Some cleansers do a better job than others um, even though this isn't a makeup remover. This one does a really good job of breaking up makeup so if you're one who likes moussey type of cleansers um, and you're also looking for something that's going to really break up any makeup, dirt, and debris really well on your face where well, you don't have to go in with a second or a third cleanse I would definitely say to check this one out and and it pretty much looks like that okay really thick okay and this one has a scent too I don't you know I, I can't put my finger on what type of scent that is um, when I'm editing if it comes to me I will definitely put it somewhere on the screen but this is pretty much what it looks like kind of like just a classic uh, cleansing mousse and it works really well and I have been enjoying it so that's pretty much it short and sweet those are my weekly favorites and fails and meh let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these let me know if you plan on trying any of these let me know I would love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches